Once you start working a lot in Excel and you start building formulas, you'll discover that you often need to look at a formula and actually see what it's doing and kind of work out where it's coming from. So this is where, under the Formulas tab, to the right here, there's something called Formula Auditing. And you'll see there's three buttons that we're going to currently focus on, being the Trace Precedent, Trace Dependence, and Remove Arrows. So just to explain what this is doing, if I click on that cell, you'll see it says equals E5. I can manually go and say E5, there we go, it's the 100. But instead of doing that, when I'm clicked on that cell, under Formulas, if I click Trace Precedence, you'll see what it does is it draws a line and it tells you where does that cell come from. It's saying equals E5 and it draws a blue line up to that cell. So it's a lot easier to see where it comes from. If you want to remove these blue lines, we just say remove arrows. So if, for example, we go here, slightly more complex formula. It's doing F14, so it's taking that cell there, multiplying it by 1 plus E7 over here. So it's quite hard to manually track it down. If I say trace precedence, you'll see it shows you that this formula is making use of something in here and something in here and in the formula you can see there's a 1 plus. So this allows you to see where formulas are coming from. What you'll realize is if I go across, so I'm going to go use my arrow keys, click trace precedent, arrow keys, click trace precedent, you'll see you start to form a pattern and notice that all of these seem to be looking at the 5%, looking at the 5%, and then suddenly there's one that's looking over here. So it's a very useful tool to visualize what is happening in your spreadsheet, to visualize the formula and see what it's doing. Where it's also particularly useful is if I click on this cell here, can you see this is one of those that we've linked to another sheet within the spreadsheet. It's linked to over here. When I click on the Trace Precedent button, you'll see it gives us a dotted line with another sheet. So it's telling you that this is looking outside of this sheet, either to another sheet or another spreadsheet. To go there is as simple as you hover over this dotted line, you double click, and it will bring up a list of all the external links. You click on the one you want, you click OK, and it takes you straight there. In order to get back, you push your F5 key, and you push OK, and it brings you straight back. So this way, you don't have to sit here and work out, OK, it's auditing toolbar example 1, cell R27, and then when you get here, you forget where it is. So this way, you can double click, choose the one you want, say OK, takes you there. To get back, you push F5, and OK. I can remove these arrows. Another useful button in here is something called the Trace Dependence. So this one's different in the sense that if I click on here the tax rate, you'll see it's 30%. This cell you can see is not actually getting information from anyone. There is no precedence. It's just typed in 30%. But the question is who is using this cell? If I go and click on Trace Dependence, you'll see it tells me that this cell over here is being used over here, over here, over here, and over here. The concept here is that the pattern, it does seem a bit strange that four cells in a row are using it, and for some reason that's not. So this Trace Dependence is a very good way to see this number, is it being used the way it should be used. Again, to get rid of, rid of the arrows, I click Remove Arrows, and we're back to a clean spreadsheet.